Hi guys, Jason here on the Outer Farm. I'm actually on the trial property today. What I want to talk about guys is I've just noticed I've got a considerable drop of KV in our electric sense system in our training paddock. So we run two wires in our training paddock guys. There's a top wire there and then there's a bottom wire there. But what I want to do first guys is I know I've got some insulators that have broken down. Either, either through UD, UV damage, they've dropped off. The, the, the nuts on the system, of the, the nuts and the bolting system on the post, the plastic on the insulators have cracked and they've dropped off. So I'm gonna go around and check them. Also, where I've gone under gateways, I've used the insulated wire to go under the gateway and then we've connected it back up. A couple of those insulated wire may have cuts in them because I know they're, we zip tied them to the fence so they may have worn through over time and be zapping against the fence. We've also used hollow tubing at our termination points as well and also where some of our gates are opening up onto the wire we've used the tubing to thread it over the wire so if the gates go against it it's not going to short out. So the first thing I'm going to do guys is spend some time and go through the paddock and see if I can't find if it's shorting out anywhere. So guys, I've taken me time. I walk around the whole paddock and see if I can't find out where those shorts were. It took me roughly an hour and a half to check all the contact points and all the insulators. I had to replace four insulators which had broken down and which had broken off the fence due to UV damage. But they weren't touching the fence. The insulators were hanging there, but the wire wasn't touching the fence so I don't think it was shorting out at those locations. I know I have had areas when it really buckets down rain heavy the water has shorted out in numerous locations but I just went round and here at the moment and just here tried to listen to if I could hear any shorts or zapping of the post but I didn't hear any and I can't see any noticeable areas where if it did rain, it would be jumping across to any of these areas and shorting out. So I've only got one other, one other option, guys, and I'll talk about that now. What I want to touch on now, guys, is growth, grass, whether it be trees or grass, touching the electric fence. As you can see, we've got a bottom wire here in our training paddock. You can see the grass is coming all the way through and touching that wire. So what that's doing, guys, is that's zapping the power, or using power, whilst that's in contact with that growth. So what I'm going to do is go along, like I've done here, and whip a snip that bottom and clear that growth off. That way you're eliminating the power usage. I'll show you up here, guys. This is a, uh, we aren't hooked up to mains power. This is a little solar unit. So as you can see at the moment, it's sitting on 3.2 kilovolts. So that's it guys, I've gone through and cleared up all this fence line. There's about a foot of grass growing through that bottom wire there. So uh, that's it, we'll jump across now and we'll uh, check the voltage on that unit. And then uh, I'll come back and uh, pull all that carbon from the, off the neighbor's side and uh, bring it all onto my side. That's, uh, we'll compost down nice in the grass and uh, add to me topsoil. As you can see guys now, we've cleared all that grass off. That's made a huge difference. It's now sitting at 5.8 kilovolts. So I've got a clearly, I've got an extra, it's at about 2.5 kilovolts. So the grass was zapping all that power out of that fence. So what's important guys to clean your vegetation off that fence is you need the lines to be as hot as possible to keep your cows in, to get that psychological 
bonus when they get zapped of that hurts to stop them pushing the boundaries if it's too if it is low and stand below two it's not going to make much of a difference guys you're going to touch it and then it won't get that zap you need to psychologically let them know that it hurts and also when vegetation is against the fence as you can see it's chewing voltage it's actually draining the battery so if it's left there long term and you have days where there's not much sun around it's going to drain all that power out and also more guys if you've got it hooked up to mains power if your vegetation is zapping that line you are actually using power so people say does it use much power it doesn't use much power at all if there's no vegetation touching those wires it's just maintaining voltage guys all it does is maintain voltage and doesn't use power at all it's when you complete the circuit when an animal touches it or a human touches it or vegetation touches it it completes the circuit and that's when you start using current it goes from maintaining voltage to completing the circuit to using current and when you're using current that is when you start using power so when it's in a clean state it's just voltage unless something completes that circuit you're not using power at all guys so it is a very low maintenance i wouldn't say low maintenance a low cost fencing but when you get vegetation against it or animals or people touch it that, that's when it actually starts using power come here darling as you can see guys that is very hot um i forgot to turn that off the dogs uh very rarely go near it so righty guys on that note um hope you have a uh, terrific morning a great afternoon and an awesome evening guys and uh, we'll catch you later Come here, darling. Come here. Oh.